Hello and welcome to the video, I'm not only 25 and today we're going to be looking at how to get water in the new Alpha 21 update for 7 days. From potential unlimited water, you heard right, to general ways to gather it early game, after this guide you should be well on your way to getting over the early game water struggles. Cheers! Unlimited water? Question mark? Okay, okay. Let's get this one out of the way first. If you are lucky enough to loot or buy the water purifier mod early game, then you've truly hit the jackpot. Well, until this gets patched out, because it probably will. All you need is any armor helmet, the water purifier mod, and any open water source like a lake, or if you're feeling really classy, even a culvert ditch at the side of the road. With these things, if you look at the water without anything equipped in your hand, you should get the drink water prompt. You can now go ham on this button and drink away to your heart's content with no negative side effects due to the water purifier mod doing its work. Now obviously this is a bit broken, and I'm sure this is going to get patched out soon, either by them limiting the water purifier mod to late game loot, removing it entirely, limiting how often we can drink from the open water sources, or perhaps they'll make it so open water sources always have a chance to make you sick no matter what you're wearing. But as soon as this is patched out, I will update the top pinned comment on this video so you know, and you can skip forward to some of the other tips in this video. And also, if you feel this is too cheesy and it defeats the spirit of the game, the water purifier mod is just great for murky water, which you can loot in abundance from POIs anyway, so it's still a great thing to find early game. Right, on to the rest of the guide. Vitamins, or you might well say vitamins, because most of my audience is based in the US. Either way, if you pop one of these, you will get a disease resist buff, which means you can drink murky water with no issues including from open water sources as we mentioned previously. At the start of your day, just put on your best suit, pop a vitamin or a vitamin and head down to the local culvert ditch and go ham. Truly the high life, high class. Again, this will work on murky water so you can take a vitamin and drink a whole ton of bottled murky water you've got backed up in your storage to beat that early game thirst. Side note, if you're also struggling with food early game, you can use the same method to eat those old sham sandwiches you've got piling up high in your storage. But just be careful. It's not foolproof and will result in HP loss each time you eat or drink. So keep an eye on your HP and make sure you heal after consuming. Cooking pot. Ah yes, the early game cooking pot. Once you have a cooking pot, your water woes are essentially over. You can get a cooking pot from cupboards, from sinks, often just sitting on the side in various POIs such as the roadside food trucks. You can also craft a cooking pot at a forge if you're having no luck in looting one, although it'll likely be at least a couple of days in game before you've read enough Forge Ahead magazines to craft one. The reason your water woes are essentially over is murky water is lootable all over the place. It's in food piles, toilets, fridges, water coolers, you get the idea. Basically, wherever you got drinks previously in Alpha 20, it's now murky water city. Keep a hold of all your murky water, craft it into boiled water at the campfire with the cooking pot, problem solved. If you want to speed up the crafting time, you can spec into MasterChef, or if you have multiple cooking pots, make multiple campfires, why not? The Dew Collector. Okay, so this is a new workstation in Alpha 21, and it's easy enough to get by day two, maybe even the end of day one. The hardest two elements to obtain as part of its crafting recipe are the water filter and 100 polymer. To get these items quickly, simply do a few quests to get the 1500 dukes and sell a few items as well if you need to. And just make sure you hit every plastic object when you're going through POIs and you'll have the 100 polymer really quickly. I got mine just through mostly harvest and roadside tires while meandering through the early game. Uh, you can hit shopping or laundry baskets, plastic barrels, the new shopping buggies or trolleys, and this awesome new plastic trash pile that you can find all over the place as well. Once you have the items, you can craft the dew collector and place it down. Make sure you leave a big space for it because this thing is huge. As long as this collector has a view of the sky, it will work at collecting water. It should collect around three waters per day and you can craft as many of these as you please. So with a few of these placed down, water issues will be a thing of the past. Vending machines. So if you're unlucky enough to not loot any vitamins or cooking pots and you're struggling with polymer or you haven't come across a water purifier mod, then all hope is not lost. I mean, you do have the worst luck ever in this game, but still, all hope is not lost. You can spend your hard-earned dukes at vending machines that are available at every trader and several POIs across the world. The prices have increased, so they're not as powerful as they used to be, 
but it's still a viable way to keep yourself hydrated in the short term while you work on some of the previous methods mentioned. They also stock things like the XP elixir and awesome sauce, so you can find them there if you want them. Quest rewards. Now there is an element of randomness to this last one, but there is a chance that your trader will offer you 10 boiled waters as a quest reward. So if you're really struggling and nothing else in this guide is working, if you get offered this as a quest reward, this can give some early game relief to the water supply issues while you get working on something that's going to sort you out in the long term. So there we have it. Using any of these methods should see you through the early game water woes and let you focus on base building, questing, surviving and thriving. Are there any water tips that I've missed? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this useful, please drop a like on the video. And if you want to see more content from this channel, why not subscribe today? Thanks, have a good one, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.